I want to be. I want to be the coolest. I want to be original. I want to be the only. I want to be the best. I want to be the first. I want to be made. Come on, baby. Yes. Yeah. Come to daddy. There we go. Oh. Oh. That's me, Nick Ketman. Oh. Fuck. That's where I get my education, Manuka Community High School. People there don't seem to like me very much. Ouch. That one hurt inside and out. I guess some people would call me a gym rat. Probably because I never leave the darn place. I'm always pumping iron. But I'm not your typical meathead. I also try breaking a mental sweat. <laughs> Why, Edward? Why? Now you've seen how I work my body and mind, there's only one thing left. The soul. Nick, dinner's ready! Not now, Liz! Sometimes I wish my sister was never born, but she's right, it was dinner time. Here you go, girls, your favorite dinner. Thank you, Mom. Jill, here's yours. I hope you guys like it. Sure smells good. I'll have what she's having. Nick. Bummer. Well, time to break the news to the fam. So, uh, I think I'm gonna run for homecoming king. Not the reaction I was looking for. But you're a loser. Okay, you realize you have absolutely no chance of winning this thing, right? Well, uh, thanks for the encouragement, but I'm gonna go ahead and try anyways, okay? I wasn't gonna let a bunch of downers dampen my spirits. It was time to meet my maid coach. You're Nick Kedman. Yeah, I am. I'm your maid coach, Sean Coyle. Hi, good to meet you. That's my coach, Sean Coyle, two-time homecoming king winner, 2008's People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive, and also voted most likely to be a maid coach. Let's do it! All right, all right, all right. On a scale of one to ten, first question, how cool do you think you are? I love Wrong. Him. Wrong. I'm the leader, and you're my little Indian. I mean, that's you're my little dog. I'm the leash. Oh, that, 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 that right? Does, that doesn't make sense. You're my haircut on a Sunday afternoon. That was probably the least sense-making statement I've ever heard in my life. Give or take. Give or take. <laughs> You know, I think he was pretty surprised at how cool I was. You know, I... I think I made a pretty good first impression. All, honestly. I think it was pretty good. You ever kissed a girl? Uh... Yeah, a couple, couple times. What a boy? A, a, have I ever kissed a boy? An animal? Any animal. I, Any animal. I think we need to backtrack here. The kid's hopeless. I'm not gonna lie. He's hopeless. I'm lucky... How long do I have? Four weeks? I need four years with this kid. Maybe longer. This kid could not get inside my mother's panties, and she's she's easy to get into, if you know what I mean. God bless her. Rest in peace. Well, well let's get started. All right. Let's go. Come on. Work it. Let's go. So you want to be homecoming king? Hmm. That's it. You want to be homecoming king? Okay. I have to warn you. It ain't gonna be easy. Mm -mm. No, sir. Wanna know why it's not gonna be easy, Mr. Mr. Guy? I'll tell you why. Because you're filth. And I've seen men, ten times the man you are, break down and give up. Give up and cry. So after all this, just to sum it up, I'm gonna have to ask you one question. One question only. Is this really what you want? More than anything, More than anything in the world. In the world. 
Well, all right then. Checklist. Step one, I need you to take off your pants. Just kidding. Just, just a joke between two guys in a room all along. But uh, this is an open classroom, so feel free if you want to take off your pants. Going once, so not happening. Step one, well dressed. It's not going to be easy for you, is it? You're the troublemaker. You're the class clown, aren't you? Come in here. What is it? It's a Spider-Man t-shirt. That's a Spider-Man t-shirt. And he's got a little word bubble. My spider sense is tingling. Isn't that nice? Is it tingling right now, if I may ask? Is it tingling? Actually, it, it, it was tingling. Do you see this? This is the kind of thing I'm going to teach you. Right now. I decided to try on one last outfit. Everybody around me always think they know what's going on inside my mind. Think I'm Mr. Nice Guy all the time. I didn't say on diary, you think you know, but you have no idea. CMO is with me, let's make more growth. We will be shaking your flow. Come against me, that's a no no. Coming on down to chicks, right? Chicks. I mean, no one's going to be cool unless they got some hot little friends, right? <laughs> you know? Or just, uh, friends, right? Not gender specific or anything, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Right? Like this? I'm just... I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. So, uh, let's do it. This thing on? Alright. Well, uh... Sean's giving me a bit of a challenge. I'm supposed to uh, call a bunch of girls tonight and uh, try to get five of them to go down, out on out on dates with me. And it's really stressing me out, but uh, let's just go ahead and see if I can do it. All right. Yeah. So, uh, hey, um, you wanna go on a, out on a date tonight? You're washing your hair. No, I'm not gay. You oh. Conditioner, you're con conditioning your hair. Okay, you already have plans. All right. Well, you know, I haven't, I haven't even told you a day yet. You will. That's not a. You shouldn't be laughing right now. That's not a very funny thing to joke about. Too far of a drive. You're my next door neighbor. Zero dates I got. I think Sean's gonna be a little mad. Sean's gonna be mad. Sean's, Sean's gonna be mad. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, God, Sean's gonna be mad. Oh, God. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs>